Living in a city really clouds your thoughts with routines and drama. I want to remove myself from that and peel back the layers. See what happens when everything goes quiet. To remove oneself from the hustle and bustle of life, to come to such a remote place keeps your reality in check. When I'm creating, I can see things I didn't notice before. Like the answer to a question I didn't realise I was asking. I'm here not to rush, not to stress, but to surrender to the surroundings, find the divinity in the sublime pure nature here, and see what comes out when the restraints are removed. Dimity Magnus. I'm a mixed media artist, musician, and event coordinator from Australia. My name is Stephen Aaron Hughes. I'm a musician, filmmaker, and installation artist from Australia. This year I sustained a large head injury from a car crash and my perception shifted. There were very lucid moments that made me uncertain of what was real. I lost trust in the weight of an object, the view of the ocean and the importance of most things. It made me start an investigation into perception of reality, exploring how we perceive our life force and sense of self. And this is where we are. As then. And this is the new workspace. My life is a series of creative threads that I am following, making a living from crafting and coordinating art with a focus on environmental messages. As I develop my skills, I feel a growing need to incorporate them into appreciating, understanding, and helping the earth. I work with the forms of nature and how they relate to the structure of our bodies, our society. I'm Ellis O'Connor. I'm from Scotland. I'm a visual artist. I work with the landscape, the lines and the textures and details of the remote north. I'm really interested in humans' relationship to nature and like how our mind changes when we're out in the landscape. For my main research, I wrote a thesis on Genius loci, which means spirit of place. So I wrote about what determines the spirit of place at sacred site, what makes places have certain atmospheres, and how our human relationship changes in these places. I think that these lands are like, really overwhelming, not in a bad way. I think it's a good feeling to be overwhelmed by the landscapes. <laughs> it gives us a feeling of insignificance. But I think that's a good feeling. I think that's good for humans to feel like that. I want to explore that nature is not as separate from us as we may think. How it relates to our sense of self, the soul, our consciousness. And what better place to explore that, so far away from home, here, in Iceland. Iceland is an epically beautiful place. It breathes an air of supernatural. Auroras, hot springs, volcanoes, glaciers and mountains. I feel really lucky here. <laughs>